We have a really rich history where many of our faculty and consultants have gone to Harvard Law School um, and have been affiliated currently or past with the Harvard Negotiation Project, the program on negotiation at Harvard Law School, and so we bring a lot of really interesting cutting-edge theory from the academic world into our consulting. We have the benefit of having one foot in academic settings and the larger foot in the real consulting world. So we bring the theory that works. Upon reflection, people say that after taking the negotiation program, they feel more confident heading into the next negotiation. They have a framework now that they can use to help them prepare and plan for the next negotiation. So they're not worried about being taken off guard when they sit down to negotiate. They've also learned that it's not necessarily about finding the solution you want, it's about finding the best solution under the circumstances that's going to meet the goals of both the parties. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine because they've looked at some alternatives they have. So if the deal on the table, on the table doesn't meet their interests at a high level, they've got somewhere else to go. I think the most important thing to do in negotiation that, that especially smart, experienced people don't do is spend more time learning about how the other person thinks before you try to influence them. You know, a very often the problem in their mind that they're trying to answer is not the one that you're trying to answer for them. And so the first thing you have to do is figure out how they're thinking about it because that's, you know, it, it's like trying to fix a car without opening the hood and looking at what's going on under there. It, it's, I mean, maybe by random you'll throw a wrench and you'll hit the right thing, but probably not. We recently did a program um, where the parties involved were negotiating a new collective bargaining agreement between the labor and management sides. And after the first day of the program, we had introduced this distinction between the interests you have in a negotiation and your positions. So your interests are the things that are motivating you to negotiate, hopes, fears, concerns, desires. Whereas the positions, the statements or demands that we're making of each other, that's what we usually bring to the table. So a particular individual, he came to us on the morning of the second day and he said, you know what, this stuff really works. So clients often ask, like, who is this for? How do we engage you? So some clients bring us in to do open enrollment programs for just general professional development. Some clients bring us in for targeted groups of people or teams, intact teams. Who benefits from it? is less about your current experience level and more about how important your results are to your organization. 